Hello and good day. This is Brian, and I'm going to take you on a demo of how to use Backup Exec with Azure Cloud Storage. Now, we know many people are looking at using Azure to eliminate tape for their backup that's on prem to get rid of that risk of tape failures, hardware failures, and that nature by actually just sending the backup data directly up into cloud storage. So, sit back, relax, and check out this demo and see how simple it is to configure Backup Exec to use Azure. So first we're here on the Backup Exec homepage and we're going to move over to the storage selection. This is the storage tab that we have for Backup Exec and as you can see we have multiple storage uh, locations there already, cloud, disk, tape, and we're going to configure Azure Cloud even though we have one here we're going to configure a new one. So we're going to go here to say configure cloud storage. Now here you get to put a name and a description. So for me, I'm going to put Brian Cloud. And the description, we're going to call it Brian Azure Cloud. How about that? And we're going to hit Next. And because we're doing Azure, we're going to select the Azure uh, Cloud Connector. And we'll hit Next again. And now in the Cloud Storage option, we're going to collect, select Azure. For the logon account, I already created an account called Brian Azure Storage. Now, what this account does is it links my Azure Storage account to a Blob Storage location, and I'll show you. Here, in my Azure port, my Azure portal, my Brian Azure Storage blobs are listed here on my storage account, and here's Brian's <coughs> Brian Blob Storage one. <clears throat> So when I go through and finish the wizard to connect, you should see Brian Blob Storage 1 as an option to select. So now here, we're going to hit Next. It's going to log into Azure, which it did just that quick into my portal, and it shows Brian Blob Storage 1. Only one there, so I'm going to select it, and I'm going to hit Next. It asks for the concurrency operations. This allows for how many jobs to run at the same time to the storage location, I'm going to leave the default as two. Select next. And now we have our summary of information. And now I'm going to hit finish. And as we go through here, it's going to create it. As you can see, to view more device properties that you can figure, double click the device. We'll hit OK here. In order to bring the device online, the back of that service must be restarted. So I'm going to restart the services here. And then you see Brian Cloud was in red. And as the services come back up, Brian Cloud will then appear just like the other storage locations as online. So as the services are restarted and they come back online, we see Brian Cloud here, which is Brian Azure Cloud Storage location, back online. Okay, and available for usage. So now we're going to go and we're going to create a backup job and we're going to use that Brian Azure Cloud Storage location as the backup location. So we'll go to the Backup and Restore tab and we're going to select uh, BMSR2, this lab's uh, server here. We're going to right click and we're going to go back up to cloud. And we're going to go through and discover all the resources that are on that server. And we're going to edit it because I want it to be a small job. And I'm going to deselect here. And I'm only going to select just perf, perf logs folder. About that. That makes it real simple. So we'll come out. And we're going to go and edit the full and incremental jobs here. And we're going to make sure they go to the right location by going to the storage location first here. And I'm going to select in the drop down menu, Brian Cloud. That's for the full backup. And I'm also going to select Brian Cloud for the incremental as well. Okay. So now I'll go back to the schedule. Both of these are set to run at 11 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit them on hold just to get them created. And we're going to select OK. And now we're creating this backup job 
and now I'll go to the job monitor and within job monitor we should see a job that's created here that's going to Brian Cloud. I'm going to expand, expand this and I'm going to right click on the full job and tell it to run now and this is going to take it off hold I want to continue and this should run the job to the disk storage location Brian Cloud so we have active running I'm going to go to the storage location so you can see here we go Brian Cloud in action where the backup job is going to be kicking off and it's going to run and it's going to move that data directly out to Brian Azure Cloud we can go back to the job monitor and we can watch as the job is running here as well. Let's pause. Once the job has completed, it goes back to a scheduled state. So if we look in the UI here down at our job history, we see that our backup that we just ran, it was a full backup. Went to Cloud One to this storage here, Brian Cloud. And we could double click it as well and see that the job is completed successful. Expand the device immediate, went to Brian Cloud. There we go. So we can close here. So we've completed the backup job. So now let's go and do a restore job. So we go to the backup and restore tab. We're going to right click on our server that we just ran a backup of. We're going to go down and do a restore. And we're going to select the files and folders. We're going to hit next. And we're going to do it from a backup set, which makes it easy for me since we just ran the job. And we'll go down to the backup set that we just ran. And we'll select perf on the perf logs. I'm going to select all the default options as we go through the restore. This is really just going to restore to the original location. Okay. So we go through, hit next, hit next, and it's going to be a run now. So we'll hit next and we'll hit finish from the summary. And as you can see, as we go to the job monitor, we will see a restore job that is actively running and queued up at the moment. And this job is going to do the restore job from the cloud storage location. Load in the media, we go to the cloud storage option. You see that it is active. Come back to the job monitor, 128 bytes, byte count getting restored, and the restore is done successful. Now if we go to our restore, our job histories tab here, we see that the job we just ran, we'll double click it, look at it completely successful, open up the server, the device name Brian Cloud is where it pulled the data from, and we can close it and our restore is complete. As you can see with Backup is that we make it very simple for you to send a backup job and restore job to an Azure storage location. If you go to the Home tab, you'll also be able to see your cloud utilization and how much capacity has been run to your cloud storage location. With the open dedupe option for backup exec, you can also send your data to the cloud in deduplicated fashion, thus saving you on the storage cost that you have. So the other thing that you can have with backup exec is that you can deploy a backup exec right into uh, Azure. So if we go to our Azure Marketplace, here we have the Azure Marketplace and we're gonna go in and we're gonna search for Veritas solutions. Actually, we're gonna search for Veritas back of the deck. How about that? And let's see what we find. There we go. Veritas back of the deck, first option. So let's select it. And as you can see, it's bring your own license but you can get it now and deploy it right into the Azure Marketplace and, and begin to use Backup Exec in Azure. Now the other thing that you can do is you can use Backup Exec on-premise and in Azure to replicate your backup data from on-premise up into the Azure Cloud or even from a cloud to cloud. This makes it very easy for using Azure as your disaster recovery location. 
without having to have another data site or another data center on-prem somewhere else. So this was a quick demo of how Backup Exec works with Azure Storage. Thank you for your time, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.